just finished the renewed armor. I see all completed right here. I'm gonna go claim our new armor. Just like last time, I'm gonna close my postmaster again because my inventory is full. I don't want anything to mess up. So, let's get rid of some of these blues, I guess, real quick. And then we kind of talk about what we did, but not really a guide, but I can also help in the comments again. We're going to need some extra help. Uh, Acknowledged. Obviously, playing on Titan or Warlock, they're all pretty similar quests. I mean, all of them are the same quests. The only difference is between each of them is that they, some of them require different elements. So sometimes, like, it's for me, for a hunter, I need to get, need to get 200 void grenade kills. I think for uh, Titan, you just need a solar grain kills. So it's, like, all, it's all the same quest, it's just different variants. But let's meditate and see what we get. Here's our armor. There's our armor right here. What a beauty. Here we go. Let's see. Let's go equip these uh, armor gloves on. Final reveal, even though it's not, and I'm on high graphics, but whatever. It probably looks better in uh, high graphics, but this is all we got to work with right now. The rolls on them are okay. The best looking. It's not the best looking armor. It has heavy lifting, alright. Anyways, here is the armor. Here are the quests. Prestige, Nightfall, 200k, Playlist Strikes with Clanmates, Shadow Throne with 1.2 people, Crucible of Valor, Valor Reset, and Challenging Enemies Defeated, which is pretty simple to do for some reason. Alright, so we'll show Eva our armor, so what she has to say. And that's it. She says nothing. Alright, well, we can go quickly about what we did here. So the first, the helmet, wanted us to do 50 bounties, uh, loot 50 EAZ chest, chests, and get arc weapon blows. So basically, bounties, there's a ton of bounties in the game. You could probably do 50 bounties in one day, but if not, Two days is probably the best you can do it. Of course, pick up every single bounties. You gotta remember that each planet has four bounties. So you can go to it's like seven, seven planets, eight planets, plus Dreaming City and the Tangle Shore. Tangle Shore has like ten or even I don't know a lot of bounties with the wanted bounties. So you can probably do a lot with, uh, when you're on Tangle Shore, basically. So just remember, just pick up all the bounties you can. Remember that. When you go to Eververse, you can redo the bounties over and over again. So, for example, we finish this one. So, 150 Bright Dusts and Negate Effects, the hero we need. And if we head on over back to Eververse right here for Tess, basically, what can I do for you, we can go back and pick up these bounties again. We just did them right now, but you can keep doing them over and over and over, and over, and over again, us. basically. Anyways. Next, we have chest looted for EAZ. That one's pretty simple. You'll finish that before you finish another one, which is kill 100 uh, EAZ enemies. We'll explain that later. But basically, you just just play it, and you'll get you'll get it eventually. Also, with the arc final blows, just use an arc weapon. I use hard light submachine gun, and over time, you'll get it if you just use arc. Basically, it's pretty simple that one. So then I open the crate. Next we have the gauntlet, basically 10 heroic public events. I did that all in the EDZ, and the only reason why we did it all in the EDZ is because you need to do 25 patrols on the EDZ. So we just do both at the same time, and you'll get it over time. Pretty simple. Or you double dip as well. Just join one and then finish it, and then just rejoin the same session, or same area. You should be able to find people doing it a lot. Next is get uh, 500 kills. I think it's it's not I think it's arc kills or arc corpse or it's orbs with that matches the same day basically. So today's arc. So what I did is I used an arc weapon and we got a lot of kills today. 
I try to do it with the helmet one with the arc kills of a weapon. So this one goes well with that one. Um, and then you need 300 Cabal defeated. That's just in general, you'll kill them. I kill a lot of Cabal uh, in the EAZ, but you need to ha make sure that you're in the same subclass of the day. So for today's arc, like I said, um, and you have to kill the Cabal using your arc subclass of tomorrow will be Void. You gotta use Void subclass by killing Cabal, basically, and that's how it works. Next, we have uh, the chest piece. You need to play 10 Gamma matches, pretty self explanatory. You could play Gamma Prime or Gamma, Gamma Prime, which is shorter. It costs, it's uh, it's much shorter than regular Gamma. So I recommend Gamma Prime if you don't like it. Gamma Prime, it doesn't really matter. Next, you have to get uh, orbs in general. I think it either depends, it could depend on the day or just, in, just get them, just keep. Uh, gathering orbs basically. You need 1500, like I said, this one's passive, so just keep doing it over and over. Just keep uh, playing over and over again, and you'll get it eventually. There's no, nothing to worry about this one. And lastly, this, this one was supposed to be hard, but it was actually pretty easy for Hunter. I'm sure it's easy for Warlock and Titan, but for uh, Hunter, Void, 200 Void grenade kills is pretty tough. But there's one cheese spot you can do, of course, there's a couple, but one I did was when you go to the last wish raid. And you go to your Sh Shiro Shi, right? And you go, obviously, you enter the the wish code, right? And what you want to do is make sure you have a decent amount of raid banners to go quickly. So whenever you walk up to the doors where Shiro Shi is, a bunch of uh, Taken Thrall or whatever will spawn in front. About like 20, 20 of them spawn. And what you want to do is tether and then throw your grenade. And everything that's tethered, will count as a grenade kill. You get like 20 per run and then just kill yourself and reset. Raid banner, tether, grenade, raid banner, tether, grenade. I think about like a couple, like maybe 10, 5, 15 times. You get like 20 per run, so it's pretty good. That's the best way to do it, to be honest, for that one. All right, next we have the legs armor. So one, you need 300 kills in a strike matching the subclass of or having matching using your subclass or matching yeah using your, using the right subclass matching the day so our we use arc we did arc kills so it's pretty self-explanatory we just matched all of our all of our elements so we there's a lot of arc stuff to do so we just made i made sure to play today we did everything in like a strike basically and it's pretty easy another way a good way to cheese it is that of course if you're in a party of three but i play solo most of the time but i was playing with a friend sometimes and we had the hollow layer uh unless you could type to type to everybody basically but we're doing the hollow layer and the final boss room there's a lot of enemies that spawn a lot of enemies so what we did was that on the third phase we just reset it and then kept doing it over and over and over again getting the general orbs and orbs and orbs it's the fastest way that one is a really good strike to do so if you want to get good orbs then ask everybody in the fire team if they want to farm orbs there next challenges is pretty simple just do daily quests do daily challenges and, ch and weekly challenges which means the daily crucible match the weekly crucible five the, the five weekly crucible matches the daily gambit one the 20 bounties for ikora um and all that other stuff, Vanguard, Strikes, all that, all the three story missions, those are the weekly and daily you challenges, basically. Next, we have Guardians defeated with Void Weapons, pretty simple, you could do this on Gambit or Crucible, of course, if you, it assists count, so if you just, if you hit somebody with a Void Weapon and they don't die and they, someone else kills them, it counts towards the progress, so it's pretty really easy to do if you don't like PvP that much. If you play Gambit and you have the Truth Rocket Launcher, you can kill people with the truth locker launcher if you want the free kill most of the time um, I use the recluse uh, submachine gun to kill everybody in PvP but I'm not that great with it but it worked out most of the time next we have lastly the hard one we have the class item now the class item basically you have to get do 25 patrols in EDZ honestly just do every single one you can and doing heroic put heroic uh, Look events at the same time, and then next we have uh, uh, get 
orbs in the EAZ depending on what day it is. So, so basically, you're going to be playing a lot of EAZ, so you're going to get this done passively as well. And the last one here, this one's tough. This one took a while to do, but you have to kill 100 EAZ mini bosses. Now you have to, you have to at least hit them once. Basically, so you want to run around. My best, your best bet to get a sniper rifle and shoot them, and then either be a dick and run away or kill it. Basically, you just want to make sure you do damage to them and help help your team out a little bit. But we, what you want to do after, so basically, it's on like a, what, a five eight minute counter or whatever timer to kill or kill mini bosses. So when the timer runs out and the boss spawns, to be honest, there's no point really playing anymore. So just leave and rejoin a new one. It sounds very dickish, but a lot of people do it, and it's better not to even do the boss. Only, but only do that when you need when you don't need the chest anymore. Other than that, just kill the mini bosses, and that's it. So yeah, that's pretty much that's the armor right there. And it's one thing we can do: we can masterwork this right here. We have I did save up my Crucible Valor right here, and we're gonna go and uh, redeem this real quick. So we're gonna reset our Valor rank right here, and this should masterwork our armor. So let's see. Hi. Yeah, merciless. Classic. There we go. We master worked our boots. I think. Oh, if we went. Actually, can't tell. I guess we did. I guess we have to do every single one to master work at all, I guess. Alright, took up our triumph. This one, and that one. We still need the rays and stuff. How is this? Just browsing, honey. All right. So that's about it. We just masterworked our boots. So this one's done. I'm not sure if it's retroactive. Maybe it is. But once we get and do another class, I'm sure he'll. Hopefully, hopefully it does. But we'll get these done sooner or later. Shadow Throne we can't do until next week. But this is going to be a tough one. This 200k is be tough. But we're going to try. But armor looks pretty good. And hopefully that helped. We'll be working on this soon. For sure.